out here with the IMEX Samurai 4x4. <clears throat> it's also a VRX. It's the same company who uh, makes a lot of RCs. VRX makes a lot of companies, makes a lot of uh, RCs for uh, different brands, I should say. Anyway, this is uh, it's a great short course truck. $120 brushed, shipped. So I think they're $100 on Amazon. Of course, I've converted this to brushless. The only thing I have to say about these is the, the shocks need to be, I haven't really adjusted them yet, but the back, uh, they're over damped. So uh, it's saggy in the back, if you can see. It's quick. Yeah, it does. What happened? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the RC track, yep. Yep. They got nice, some nice tracks over there. Yeah, they do. Yep. You can find them for cheap if you look on Amazon and eBay. You can get them for cheap, you know? Yeah. Like this one, I paid $100 for this, and then I just added all those parts to it to make it fast. Okay. Yeah, so you can get into the hobby for like $100. That's cool. That's this is called a Samurai. You can find it on Amazon called a Samurai. All right, all right. I'm going to look it up. All right, man, for sure. Have a good one. So yeah, like I was saying, this is a, uh, see how people uh, are interested. This is a 4300 KV motor now. Um, my back tire is hitting that body because it's uh, sagging in the back. It's the only thing about this. It's got sway bars, big bores, metal, uh, you know, aluminum frame, aluminum chassis, um, I mean, upper deck chassis. Yeah, it's just the body making noise. <clears throat> I pick it up off the ground. I don't hear nothing. It's just the tires rubbing on that body. Uh, it, it probably wouldn't be as bad, but I have extension, extensions on here. Real quick, I'll show you. They're not the big ones. They're just 15, uh, 15 mil extensions. If you can see that. <clears throat> Yeah, this thing goes. I, it's got a small opinion in it right now because uh, uh, the 23 tooth was just a little bit too much on 3S. It was uh, it was um, catching too much air. Uh, it was just too fast. This is perfect with the 17 tooth. Oh, right there. See how it caught that air? But uh, it was doing that constantly with the uh, 23 tooth that it had in it. So with this one, this one's a lot better. Oh, we caught some debris. But, um, yeah, 17 tooth now on here is a lot better. I got a couple fans running on this. This one's got a, a, a dust cover. It comes with a dust cover. Let's see if I can show you guys that. It's got a dust cover. You can see under there. So that's cool. Yeah, $100 and $20 for shipping. You cannot beat that. You can buy yourself a change of pinion out if you want, or buy yourself a little mild system for $50, $60. These are different tires and wheels. These are the It. Uh, these are the IMEX, um, I mean not IMEX, these are K-Force racing wheels and tires. Um, this thing handles really well with the extensions on it. 
give that a little bit wider stance. And I barely lost that and I was flat out and it was moving. And I almost still didn't roll it, but it's pretty rough right here. It's pretty bumpy. So yeah, the only thing about this, uh, like I said, is the rear shocks, they're a little saggy. Um, we'll get some close up run right here. They're just a little bit saggy. Um, spring, I would change the spring ray and the oil's too thick. You know, maybe, uh, maybe some lighter oil. Oh, get up, you know? Okay, but anyway, there you go, IMX Samurai, $100. Spend another 50, 60 and upgrades, 150, 160 dollars. You've got a brushed, a, a brushed, a brushless, um, really nice short course truck. All right, guys, peace. Okay, so I just got back from my run. Um, this is the IMAX Samurai. <clears throat> like I was saying, these back suspension, they're just, um, it's over dampened a lot. Um, it's kind of a glare. You see from here. Um, they're fully adjustable. They've got upper and lower aluminum caps with threaded collars. They're plastic bodies, big boards. They're good shocks. They just need uh, tuning, and it's not a big deal. Um, I wouldn't be like, these are a piece of shit, the most garbage, trash shocks you ever got in my life. Nah. This is called tuning. Okay. Sometimes the factory doesn't tune correctly. These are called ready-to-run vehicles. You know. Ready to run vehicles are going to require some tuning and some aftermarket parts to be what we want them to be. And most people know that. Uh, it's only a few guys I've seen on YouTube lately that talk shit about everything and call everything garbage and stuff like that. I really don't like that at all. Um, if something has some flaws, then I will, well, you know, it is what it is. Like the new R5, it's got a real quality control issue. Um, a lot of the set screws, everything, they didn't lock tight half the stuff. So the, the people in China at the factory, at the HSP factory, because that's an HSP car, Red Cat buys their cars from HSP, just like uh, like I was talking about earlier. VRX is one of the other really big distributors who people buy their cars from. Helion uses them. Helion uses HSP, too. Um, a lot of different companies. Um, a lot of the Hobby Wing stuff is VRX stuff. Um, another one is FS Racing. FS Racing is another big uh, Chinese factory that builds stuff. Helion uses that. Veta, Helion, a lot of people use FS Racing as well. Um, so anyway, this is VRX, but it's labeled IMEX. And IMEX are the people who make the tires. All those monster truck tires and stuff and wheels and tires all these years. They've been making them for quite some time. Let me get out of the glare. And so this is an IMEX, but it's really just a VRX. They're both called Samurais, I think. Anyway, this is a short course truck. It's hard to see, but I got the dust cover on. It comes with this dust cover. We've got um, aluminum chassis and aluminum upper deck brace. Um, it's full uh, metal diffs. Um, they, they have decent grease in them. I'm not sure if they're oil filled. I don't think so, but there's decent grease because they don't spin too freely like crazy. Um, the bumpers on these are super flexible. There's even hinges right there for it to bend on both the front and the back. If you can see that right there. These are really good. There's sway bars on them, there's big bars on them. And this isn't like the uh, ZD Racing where they put sway, bar, sway bars and big bars on them to uh, entice you to buy it. Um, because this is a decent chassis right here. Um, as you can see, got the hole in the bottom so rocks fall out instead of getting stuck. We've got this uh, area here. I'm running a 4370. It's all hex head stuff like that. Not not that I care. Uh, uh, I don't mind a Phillips head. The thing about Phillips head is this. There's different size Phillips heads just like there's different size hex heads. And a lot of people don't know that. People don't understand that, you know. You've got to know your Phillips head sizes. You're not going to grab the wrong Phillips head and start messing with it or else you're going to strip something. The same thing. You wouldn't grab the wrong hex head and start messing with it or you're going to strip something. That's the thing about Phillips. A lot of people don't know Phillips head has different sizes. Like if you work on some Mia's. You're going to have to have a certain size. They sell the Tamiya um, um, screwdriver sets. <clears throat> but you don't have to have the specific uh, Tamiya set. You just have to have the proper size. They're labeled. It has It's labeled just like anything else. Anyway, but this has hex head, so that's good. And um, everything seems pretty solid for sure. 
I put the hexes on there because I was running a 23 tooth pinion on 3S with this 4370 kV motor and it was going crazy. It was catching air at like 40, 50 miles an hour and flipping in over and stuff. Or it would roll or it would catch air the opposite way and roll downward sometimes. Um, so I put these hex extensions on here um, to, uh, if you can see those, to kind of, let me go in the front. Just to give me some, uh, just 15 mil, not too big. I don't believe in putting anything bigger than 10 or 15 mil because uh, once you go too wide, um, that's going to be a weak point on your car for sure. 10 mil, 15 mil, I haven't had a problem with that at all. Anyway, these are $100. These are $100. Brushed, $100. The cool thing about that though is the brush setup comes with a that VRX Turbo Speed 550 motor, 19 turn, that runs on 3S like crazy. I've got it in here. It's been in here. This is the motor pushing this. That that VRX motor, 550 Turbo Speed motors, has been pushing this TTO2B this whole time on a 23 tooth pinion <laughs> on 3S. And the speeds, crazy speeds. It doesn't even get hot. That motor doesn't even get hot. And the ESC that comes with this is the Hobby King X car that when I swapped into my to my um, my torment, my first torment, the yellow one. So this thing comes with a Hobby King X car, brushed ESC, and that Turbo Speed 550 brush motor. So it's not a bad setup at all. Brushed for 120 bucks. You can run it on 2S. Um, you can't run the, the the Hobby King X car. Does not run 3S though. But if you wanted to, you could swap in a uh, the Hobby King X car. Excuse me. You could swap in a Hobby Wing. And you can run uh, this particular car brushed on 3S. Um, so you'd pay $100 for it. You buy another $20 ESC. And you don't even really have to switch to brushless. Because it'll run really.